Hello my fellow hunters and welcome to the next episode of How to Parse in TOGC. In today's episode we will talk about third encounter of this raid, the Twin Valkyrs. We will discuss some tips and tricks how to improve your DPS from the position of a soaker or a position of a damage dealer. In this fight we can be in two positions. In the soaker position when we take a white essence at the beginning and our damage goes primarily to the black Valkyr or in the damage dealer position when we take a black essence and our damage goes to the white Valkyr. It is important to change the talents and glyphs before the fight so that we don't use multidot build there to 1851 but we switch to 61451 and we switch the explosive trap glyph because we don't use trap weaving in this fight. We keep the serpent sting glyph and kill shot glyph and use the glyph of steady shot instead of the explosive trap glyph. Glyph of serpent sting guarantees us more cast of steady shots. We change talents because according to Warcraft logs damage is normalized when we have a white essence and the damage a black valkyrie or vice versa but the damage to the opposite one is still reduced by 75% this fight is very RNG from a DPS point of view it really depends on when bloodlust is used and what abilities the valkyries use if we are lasting on the beginning we use all CDs during the last if we are not we use small CDs on the beginning and the big ones we synchronize with Bloodlust. Let's look at this fight from the position in which most of us are and that is the position of the Soaker. We start with Prepot and we cast Insta Shots during the run and take a position. As Soakers we stand in the place assigned to us and collect white balls so that they don't hit the raid. For solid DPS it is necessary to move as little as possible and select only the necessary balls. This allows us to cast the maximum number of steady shots as possible. Two things threaten us as soakers in this fight and that is the dark and light vortex ability. On the dark vortex we don't change the color but we have to use our deterrence for about the last 6 seconds of the ability when the damage is the biggest and continue collecting as many orbs as possible because then we can't do damage. On Light Vortex we continue with damaging until the ability ends and then immediately change the color to black to protect the raid from black orbs. It is best to use Rocket Boots, avoid black orbs as much as possible, switch to black color and then go back to position and avoid white orbs during the movement. Now we will focus on the white Valkyrie as the primary target because we have now the opposite color. It is important to return to the position as quickly as possible so that we don't lose much DPS. That's all we care about the soakers only raid response to other abilities. And it is also important to use multi-shot during the wall fight even we are in aimed spec. From the position of damage dealer we start with the black essence and damage the white Valkyr. And there are four possible scenarios of what can happen. Light shield, dark shield, light vortex and dark vortex. If it's a vortex we must always have the same color to the vortex. If it's a shield we must always have the opposite color to the shield and we pierce the shield or it is possible to pierce the shield and not change the color but that depends on the overall raid DPS. The best possible scenario is when we have as first the dark vortex or light shield or both consecutively. We bloodlust at the beginning on pool and depending on the ability both Valkyrs are then pulled to the opposite portal. If we don't have enough damage, 
then we use the bloodlust on the shield. So the damage really depends on what abilities the Valkyries will use and in what order and it is RNG. From our point of view, we try to move as little as possible and blast as much as possible and arrange ourselves according to abilities. When the tank pulls the Valkyries to the opposite essence, it is important to avoid the orb of the opposite color during the running to the new position. A shorter kill time means fewer abilities and if we are lucky in the order of abilities we can still get a nice DPS. And a small tip at the end of the video, if you want to minimax this fight, you can get this consumable which will add 30 attack power to undead, since Valkyrs are undead class. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I wish you a good luck in this fight and see you in the next videos.